Say, for example, you've bent the finger back. So what we want to do is try and support that and let that heal. So what we're going to try and do now is try and prevent that movement. So as I say, we, we, we're in an injury where we've bent the finger back there and that joint there is where it's hurting. So we're going to use strips of tape, okay? And what we're going to do, we're going to get the patient to flex, okay? So they're going to bend at that joint there, like so. They won't light, in, in fairness, if it's injured, it will probably be in that position anyway. And what we're now going to do is start at the top part of the, the, the above the joint. We're going to cross, keep that bent, that bent for us there, that's fantastic. Bend it, cross it underneath, go round, cross it there, underneath side, round the finger, and then finish. So if we now turn the finger over, what we see is we've got a crisscross pattern going across that joint. And when you try and straighten, it's much harder to straighten it and you can't fully straighten it. So depending on how, how sore that joint is will depend on how much you bend it to prevent it from straightening.